Speaking of stress tests, that's the next thing that uh, you talk about in terms of how you measure plaque, how it's a flow study, not a plaque assessment study. What does that mean? It measures the flow of blood through your heart. You get a positive stress test when you lose more than 50% of the flow in the arteries of your heart. Two thirds of heart attack and stroke occur with plaque that is not causing 50% impact on the flow. So if you understand that, it becomes very clear why between 25 and 30% of negative stress tests are false negatives. So what about false positives? At least you know if you get a false positive, you're okay, right? Well, here's what happens. With the false positive, you end up going in and getting one of these next things, a coronary angiogram.